lovelies and welcome back to my channel so remember to please subscribe to the channel and put the notifications on so that you never miss a video and also check out some of my other videos on the channel and um, comment like and you can follow me on social media at Charlotte Wallace MUA and CW Makeup Artist on Twitter and I love talking to you guys it's awesome for me to get to know you guys and awesome to know what you guys want to see so in today's video I'm doing this lovely little rosy makeup look it's um, a rose gold inspired look um, still very natural but very buildable for the eyes and I hope that you guys love this video and let's get started so starting off with a face of foundation eyebrows and a little bit of bronzer I'm taking the Bobbi Brown bronzer in light and a nice crease fluffy brush and I'm going into the crease of my eye and the outer corner of the bottom lash line it's a great transition shade and it will match a bit of the face so it's quite a natural tone to use and if you see I'm tilting my head back and going straight into that crease so that I've got this nice angle going on um, so that my brush fits perfectly in that crease I'm going in with the colour eggplant and a darkish brown colour with quite a cool undertone and I'm just going into the outer corner first and then blending inwards and I'm using much smaller blending motions for this colour because I don't want the colours to necessarily mix in with that bronzer I want the bronzer to be the furthest of the colours that goes up to the brow bone I don't want them to mix, I just want them to blend into the crease nicely Taking that on the outer corner of the bottom lash line again, I don't blend all the way in, just enough to join the colours without changing them into one. Clean off your brush always, it's very helpful. And I'm going in with the Tarte's Pro Glow colour palette and I'm taking this lovely rosy gold colour. It's a really beautiful tone, it really works for all skin tones as well. And I'm dabbing that on with my brush and then a slight blend into the crease just so there's not a solid line. Making sure to clean off your brush, I then took the strobe colour, which is the lightest colour in the palette and matches my skin tone. And I am applying that underneath the brow and into the inner corners of the eye with my finger for a stronger saturation. Um, and then I'm taking my brush again with this sculpt colour which is just a soft brown sort of the similar to our bronzer colour and I blend that into the crease a tiny bit and clean off my brush and then blend it right up to make sure that there's no solid lines anywhere so that step just helps the shimmer to kind of blend into the crease um, a bit better and with my finger I'm taking the same colour strobe and just applying that to all my highlighted features on the face so now we're going in with an eyeliner and I'm going to be using an angled brush and it's going to be a smoky liner so I start about halfway through the eye and just blend it inwards a little bit and then continue to blend it out quite solid so that the outer corner is dark and when I've got a small wing I can use that to connect it to the top lash line making sure again that's very dark and then I can take that inwards towards the inner corner of the eye very close to the lash line again and about halfway across I will stop and then I will go into the inner corner right by the tear duct and blend it outwards until the middle meets this is just the usual way of doing eyeliner it's much easier to break it down into steps and then I'm blending it just a tiny bit with the brush there so doing the same thing on the other eye um, this is a very good way of learning how to do eyeliner before you move on to the liquid eyeliners which need real precision to look good. So just practicing with a brown shadow is a really good way to learn how to get the shape of your eye right. And then you can move on um, to a gel eyeliner or even a liquid. Sometimes I prefer using the angled brush and so I will even brush it onto the felt tip pen of my liquid liner just because I think sometimes the straightness of the brush is really helpful. I wish I'd known that little trick when I had started doing eyeliner but I went straight into the deep end as a teen so anyway hopefully that helps you guys out a bit. I'm taking that dark brown just on a fluffy brush just to blend out the outer corner of that eyeliner. I don't want to darken the makeup I want the lash line to be the darkest. 
And using a concealer brush that has some old concealer from when I did my foundation, I'm just cleaning up that outer corner and underneath the lash line from any fallout. And now guys, to use an eyelash curler really makes your eye makeup go to the next level. So make sure you do it before you use your mascara and the difference is amazing. And you can also see why that eyeliner is so helpful for making your lashes look a bit fuller in a more natural way. I like to curl mine a few times so I will go back to the other side as well. And with your mascara, start right at the root and work your way out to the ends of the lash line. Same for the bottom. Sometimes I don't do the bottom, sometimes I do. It depends how busy I am that day. Um, and now I'm going in with a contour. I'm using the same medium to dark brown colour that I used for the eyeliner um, and in the crease of the eyes. Just like using the same bronzer for the eye makeup. Um, it's just helping to create a uniform look. It's more natural looking when you use the same tones and I really enjoy it. Um, I just like doing that. And here I'm going in with a bit more bronzer on all the normal features where the sun would hit and again down the neck where the sun definitely wouldn't hit but I like doing it anyway. And then I'm going in with a nice lip liner. I am using the Dusty Rose lip liner from MAC. It's quite old. I don't know if they still do it. This is literally like 10 years old. I stole it from my mom's makeup kit way, way back because I love the colour so much. And yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful colour. And I'm dabbing on this Maybelline, a slightly bright pink, just to give it a bit more oomph. And that is the end of our makeup tutorial. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I love you lots and have an amazing day.